Uh, back to your calls. Uh, Jim is in Covington, Louisiana. Hello, Jim. How you doing, Mike? Really enjoying your show, listening online. Thank you. Appreciate but, it. Uh, I was uh, I was taken back, you know, like I'm a 59er, and I remember I was only four when uh, JFK got shot. But mm -hmm. I remember it because we had a, 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 a babysitter, housekeeper. Mm -hmm. Her name was Maddie. I go, Maddie, why are you mad? And it's just a little memory, you know, like you have those little memories. She said, somebody killed the president. And I just remember that. And mm -hmm. I remember when Martin Luther King got shot because I saw that hit going over the news. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't know who he was, but when Bobby got shot, I knew who he was. Mm -hmm. But I remember my dad was walking down the hall. He was going somewhere, and my mother comes up. It was election night, and she goes, Jim, you think Bobby has a chance of winning California? Mm -hmm. He goes, uh, if he does, they'll kill him. And, uh, I, and this just goes, and the, the amazing thing is, that was... What forty years ago? Not thirty, whatever years ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it just keeps on going, and the American people just keep on falling for it. You know, just like with this drone thing. And I guess they figure as long as they can get thirty, forty percent to go along with them, which they basically always had with the Republicans and the neocons. I mean, it's getting kind of depressing <laughs> well it 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 is uh you know this country has had its uh incredible swings uh back and forth although I, I i don't think there's ever been a seriously deranged swing to the left the way there has been seriously deranged swings many of them to the right and and i think the problem that that you and i sense and a lot of people sense is is that the arguments now uh, have been pulled so far to the right that when you when you try to make an argument against something like drone uh, attacks, you find yourself arguing from the point of view, for example, as to whether or not that uh, whether or not it it is acceptable certain collateral damage, the death of of, of families the deaths of kids or adults or, or whatever in order to get a terrorist. We shouldn't be having that discussion. I mean, I mean, that's ludicrous. What we should be talking about is how to uh, turn down uh, or eliminate the rage that uh, people around the planet feel about us. We shouldn't be – we should be figuring out, uh, you know, how did we get to that point? What can we do – to to eliminate that what what can we do to start acting like a civilized country but no we have hearings uh like this guy Brennan where there's actual conversation as to whether or not waterboarding is torture there's actual conversation as to um whether or not there is Death and destruction when we go after individuals that somebody in our government has labeled a terrorist. This is madness, Jim. I'm, I mean, it really is. It, it, it's it's crazy. We are having discussions that should be held in the front room of hell, but not here. I know, Mike. It's like I've got some alleged family members, uh, and they're like. You know, it's super hardcore, the you know, right wing, and it's just like I can't even talk to them. It's just no. like, uh, in fact, you know, when my aunt, she's seventy something, she's a real right winger, but it's just, Tootie, I don't even want to talk. Okay, mm -hmm. you believe it's like religion. You believe in your whacked out sect. That's fine. I really don't want to talk about it. Right. Uh, I'll believe in my non-existent sect fellow atheist that I am, mm -hmm. but uh, go ahead, believe what you want to believe. I don't, you know, I'm not going to waste my time or my breath trying to convince you because it's not going to do any good. And by the way, I really enjoy your show and your website. Uh, looking on the web, very nice. Well, thanks, Jim. I, I appreciate your support. Thanks a lot for checking in tonight. All right, man. All Check right, you so, later. All right, take care. Hi. Sanchez. Uh, good evening to you from the shores of Long Beach here. Um, I, real quick, I don't know, I've got a minute here, right? Well, you got two. Oh, 
Okay, well, <laughs> at the risk of sounding like I'm rambling, um, last week I went to a free Bradley Manning event. It was uh, uh, done by Occupy LA, Occupy Long Beach, mm. Occupy Whittier was there, even the Whittier Area Peace and Justice and the Bradley free Bradley Manning chapter here in Southern California. They were uh, also there. So since that time, I've been thinking a lot about Bradley Manning, and one thing that happened earlier in the week, Senor, was the revelation, not only at this NBC white paper that Michael Isikoff did about the drones, right. but the also, uh, also the revelation about the uh, torture and rendition policies of the CIA, that there were up to 50 countries involved in either yeah, how about that? or shuttling uh, or allowing <laughs> you know, planes to fly or refuel or whatever, after we were told by the Bush administration we don't torture. Right. We, we were lied to about getting into the war. We were lied to about torture. We've been lied to about the drone policy. It wasn't until this white paper came out that they were that they were denying that they weren't even doing it. I know. Hey, Sanchez, you know what? There's the music. We are flat out of time. Uh, I, I, I wish you would call a little bit earlier. Maybe you'll call Monday, but i got to leave it there, pal. Thanks, Sanchez. Have a good weekend. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for hanging out with us. We do appreciate it. We'll see you uh, Monday. Take care. Keep it lit. I'm Mike Malloy. Have a great weekend, Kevin Kinney, wherever you are. Say goodnight, Kathy. Goodnight, Kathy.